We're looking at the Rothamsted octocopter and we've been trying this out now for about 18 months for monitoring field experiments at Rothamsted. The experiment we've got here has got about 5,000 plots and in a season we can walk up to about 200 kilometres just monitoring these plots. So we're hoping in the future the octocopter will replace a lot of the footwork. We've got three cameras on there. We've got a conventional RGB camera taking normal images. We've got a thermal camera taking thermal images and we've got a, um, a multispectral camera which is taking near-infrared images. We can take several hundred images of the experiment on one day, put it into the software, and the software will stitch all the images together and produce an orthomosaic. So that's basically an image just like from Google Earth, a flat image of the crop. It doesn't matter within reason what angle the images are taken at, the software sorts all that out. And as well as producing the orthomosaic, we can produce a digital elevation model. And from that, we can extract the height data of the crop. So if we take the first set of photos when the ground is bare, there's no crop there, we can get the, um, the level of the ground. And then through the season, we can monitor how the crop is growing. With the digital cameras, they are much more, give a much more quantitative measurement of the colour. So actually the data should be, we should be able to collect it more frequently and more accurately. In the future, uh, the technology is likely to develop and there will be new types of sensors that will enable more measurements to be taken. We're quite excited about this technology. Our use here at Rothamsted is quite specific at the moment, using it monitoring wheat trials, but it could be used to monitor a whole range of crops or other land uses like forestry, but it's an enabling technology for a whole range of um, research areas. We've got entomologists at Rothamsted that are interested in using it for, for simulating flight of insects. But in other countries I've heard of people using them for sowing seeds, for applying pesticides to crop. I don't actually think that's likely to happen in this country. But yes, it's an enabling technology that could be used for a whole range of, range of uses. Still not good enough to land. That sounded quite dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Cut!